This is Botswana. Hello and welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're embarking on a journey through Botswana, unveiling its marvels. Did you know that Botswana boasts incredible geographical diversity from the vast Kalahari Desert to the lush Okavango Delta? But here's a taste of the excitement to come. Ever wondered about the intriguing flavors that define Botswana's food? Stick around as we explore the secrets of its culinary traditions. Join us on this expedition and immerse yourself in the wonders of Botswana. Botswana is dominated by flat inland plains and deserts, yet also contains amazing wetland ecosystems that support unique wildlife. Let's learn about the four major geographical areas. First is the expansive Kalahari region covering over 70% of its land. It contains semi-arid deserts, grasslands and bush savannas. The Kalahari receives little rain with harsh hot summers and mild winters. Up in the lush north lies the vast Okavango Delta created where the Okavango River fans out over the land. It forms lush wetland habitats with papyrus beds and open channels filled with wildlife. Also, up north you'll see more tree and grass savannas able to thrive in higher rainfall. Another iconic landform found in the north is the Makadikgadi salt pans. These shimmering salt flats and grass savanna surround sparse seasonal lake beds and offer surreal scenery. Dotting the rest of central and eastern Botswana, you'll continue to find mixed grassland plains, short tree savannas and scrublands, eking out moisture from occasional rainfalls to sustain life. Two major cities anchor either end of the country. Gaborone down south has been the capital since independence in 1966. Way up north, Francis Town historically served as an important trade hub. About two-thirds of Botswana's live in the eastern side of the country. In the comments below, let me know which biome and landform stood out to you the most about this unique country. Prior to Botswana existing as a unified nation, the land was inhabited by many different tribes and ethnic groups, like the San, Ndebeli and Swana. The land saw waves of Bantu migrations, such as the arrival of Tswana tribes who settled across the country in the 14th century. In the early 1800s, hostilities broke out between Tswana tribes, like the Quena and Nungwaketse, as they battled over land and cattle ownership in the region. This discord continued for decades in tribal civil wars. It wasn't until the 1880s that the British stepped in and established the Bikwana Land Protectorate, to try to administer control. Despite being under British protection, Botswana remained fairly autonomous during the early colonial period. But in 1895, the British violated treaties and set up the Crown Colony of Southern Rhodesia, taking some Ngamiland and Chobi districts. Still, it maintained relative independence compared to other African colonies, Botswana played an important economic role supplying migrant labor to South African mines throughout the early 1900s. But the broader desire for self-governance continued growing. In the 1950s and 1960s, the territory consolidated political parties and in 1966, finally achieved full independence from Britain. Since independence, Botswana rapidly modernized but retained its peacefulness. Significant discoveries of diamond reserves helped transform it into one of Africa's most stable and thriving countries. Today, Botswana prides itself on its national unity, democracy, development and conservation efforts. This sums up some key glimpses into the major eras and developments making up Botswana's national history. Let me know in the comments what other aspects you'd be curious for me to cover in upcoming videos about this unique country. The World Bank estimates that the population of Botswana is about 2.6 million people. 
It is considered one of the most sparsely populated countries in the world, despite being roughly the size of France. Over half of Botswanans live in rural areas. Botswana has over 20 different ethnic groups within the country. The majority ethnic identity, about 80% of citizens, is made up of Swana people or Batswana. Other groups include the Kalanga, Basawa Bushmen, Herero, Ye, Mabukushu, and Baye, among others. While distinct identities exist, relations among groups are peaceful. Most Botswanan people follow Christianity, with over 70% of the population identifying as Christians of various denominations. Anglican, Methodist, and Evangelical Presbyterian churches have strongholds in different regions. Beyond Christianity, around 20% of citizens consider themselves agnostic or non-religious. A smaller percentage of the population follows Badimo indigenous religion or Islam. Setswana is the predominant national language used across Botswana, spoken by almost 80% as a first language. It is part of the Bantu language family. English is also used nationwide as the official business and government language. Across local ethnic groups and regions, over 20 unique dialects can be heard in addition to Setswana and English. Examples include Ikalanga, Sekgalagadi and Shekgalagari languages and dialects. Botswana's economic growth has been driven predominantly by its rich diamond resources. The World Bank estimates that diamond mining contributed over 70% of export revenue as of 2022. Botswana is actually the world's second largest diamond producer by value after Russia. Beyond minerals, Botswana also derives decent revenue from tourism, financial services, subsistence agriculture and cattle farming. However, issues like drought, unemployment and over-reliance on diamonds pose risks for sustained growth. In terms of trade, Botswana is part of the Southern African Customs Union, along with Eswatini, Lesotho, Namibia and South Africa. This allows free flow of goods between member countries. Outside the Union, the United States and Belgium are key trading partners due to diamond exports. To wrap up, Botswana has the most stable economy in Africa with upper middle income status. While poverty and inequality persist, it has come a long way from the 1966 GDP per capita of around 80 US dollars. Wise management of diamond wealth has been crucial for development. But diversifying the economy remains an important long-term goal. Botswana's food is a combination of indigenous culinary practices, colonial legacies and neighboring influences. These flavors reflect the nation's rich heritage and communal traditions. Let's unveil iconic dishes that define Botswana's culinary identity. Seswa. This revered dish features beef, typically the shoulder or shank, slow cooked until tender. The meat is boiled with salt and sometimes onion, then shredded and pounded using a traditional wooden pestle and mortar. The result is a succulent, savory delicacy often served alongside pap, providing a wholesome taste of Botswana's celebrations and community gatherings. Pap, a staple maize porridge. Pap is made from finely ground maize meal and water, cooked to a smooth, thick consistency. This versatile dish is a cornerstone of Botswana's cuisine. Often molded into a ball and used as a scoop to savor various stews, curries or sauces. Morogo leafy greens, such as spinach or cowpeas, are meticulously cleaned, finely chopped and sautéed with onions, tomatoes and spices. This nutritious and flavorful side dish adds vibrancy and essential nutrients to meals, symbolizing the country's commitment to healthy, locally sourced produce. Vetkoek. These delightful fried bread pockets are made from a yeast-based dough. 
deep fried until golden and crispy on the outside, while remaining soft and pillowy inside. Often filled with a savory mince mixture or enjoyed with sweet fillings like jam or syrup, Vetcoex satisfies both savory and sweet cravings alike. Mopani worms. Mopani worms are the larvae of emperor moths, harvested and dried before consumption. They are rehydrated and cooked with tomatoes, onions and spices, offering a crunchy texture and a nutty, earthy flavor that's surprisingly rich in protein. Borovus, influenced by South African cuisine, Borovus are spiral-shaped sausages made from a blend of beef, pork or lamb, mixed with spices like coriander, nutmeg and pepper. Grilled over an open flame, they release an aromatic fragrance and a burst of flavors with each bite. These dishes are just a fraction of the essence of Botswana's culinary heritage, blending tradition, taste and community. Which of these dishes would you love to try first? Let me know in the comments below. At a broad level, Botswana's culture reflects its ethnic heritage as a southern Bantu society blended with the traditions of various African tribes and influence from European contact, especially British colonial rule. Historically, most Botswana lived as herders in tribal villages across the land they shared communally. Among Botswana's cultural gems is its literary heritage, offering insights into the nation's history, values and societal shifts. Bessie Head, a notable Botswana-born author, gifted readers with Maru, a compelling novel delving into themes of identity, race and societal complexities. The book encapsulates the evolving landscape of Botswana through a profound narrative lens, showcasing vibrant festivals like the Mighty Song Festival, celebrating performing arts and cultural events like the Dithubaruba Festival, which honors the country's heritage and customs. In modern times, festivals like the Kuru Music and Dance Festival promote harmony between ancient folkways and contemporary life. Botswanans balance ancestral pride with enthusiasm for advanced education, global connectivity and development. If you enjoyed this video on Botswana, you'll love this next one.